Okay, so today we are going to do an update on a couple of Helix units. Uh, we have a Helix 9 MSI G4N and a Helix 10 MSI G4N. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and perform the updates on those machines as well as uh, Mega Live via the Helix unit. So we're first going to go to the Hummingbird website. We're going to go in here, we're going to go to support, and we're going to go to software updates. In here, we are going to go down and find our machine. So we'll do the Helix 10 first. We're going to go in here, we're going to select the Helix 10 Chirp Mega SI G4N. So I'll get that one. We're going to arrow all the way down to the bottom and we will download update 2.8. So we'll go ahead and click that. Down here in the corner, we see our download is happening. So as soon as that's done, we will get that loaded onto our SD card. Okay, so our update has downloaded. We are going to find our SD card. We're gonna go over to our download section. Okay, so we have our Helix 10 2.8 update. Um, we've already inserted our SD card, so we're going to drag and drop the update on our SD card. It's going to go through and transfer the file over to our SD card. One thing to remember for uh, these Helix 10 and Helix 9 updates, uh, they do require a micro SD card for the update. So you'll have to get yourself an SD card with the micro SD insert so that you can load up your update, put it into the machine and transfer the update over. So we're gonna go in here, check our SD card. We have the update that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and eject this SD card so that we're ready for the update. Now for the Helix 9 MSI G4N, we are just going to do this exact same process over again and load it up on another SD card so that we can update uh, that second unit at the same time. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll move over to the boat and get these updates performed. Okay, so we're back in the boat now. Um, we're going to start by updating the Helix 10 here. Um, anytime you're updating Helix, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your menu. Hit menu a second time. You're going to go along the top here. So we can toggle back and forth and we're going to go into setup. Now before we do this update, we want to restore defaults. So we're going to arrow down to restore defaults and then confirm that we want to restore this machine to default. Okay, so now that that's been complete, we're gonna take our SD card and we are going to insert it into the machine. And we are going to wait for the update to pop up. Okay, so the update has popped up on the screen here. Current version is 2.66. We're going to replace it with version 2.8 so we're going to go ahead and hit yes and then it'll ask you if you would like to abort the software update to version 2.8 so we're going to hit no and now make sure that you leave the power on and let the update go until it's complete once it's complete the machine will turn off and restart so we'll wait for that to happen once that's done we will go ahead and update the mega live now we're going to go to the front here we're going to do the same thing with this Helix 9 uh, Mega SI. So we are going to go into our menu function, menu again, make sure we're on the setup tab, arrow down to restore defaults and confirm that. Now the Helix 9 unit uses the micro SD. So we're gonna pop out our micro SD card and we are going to insert that into the machine and go through the same process. We will wait for the update to populate on the screen and we'll get that one started. Okay, so this version that's currently in this machine is 2.3. So we again are gonna go ahead and update this unit to version 2.8. We are going to confirm that we wanna do that. It'll ask us if we would like to abort the update and we're going to go ahead and select no. And again, this machine is now updating so we are going to leave it until it is finished. 
Okay, after we do our version 2.8 updates on both those Helix units, we are going to go ahead and download uh, the version 1.2 for Helix. So once our machines are updated, we need the latest update um, in order to update to the latest MegaLive version. So we're gonna go down to the bottom. We're gonna download MegaLive version 1.2. We're gonna go through the same process, load it onto our SD card, and we will be ready to update our Mega Live. So now we're back at the Helix 10. We are gonna go ahead and update the Mega Live. With Mega Live, if we're doing an update on land, as always, we need to deploy our Mega Live unit um, and make sure that we are in a bucket of water so that the Mega Live is recognized. If you're unsure of whether your Mega Live is up and running, uh, what we can do is again hit menu and menu again. It'll bring us up into our tabs. We can go along and select views. If we arrow down, we can get to the accessory test. Right now we can see that it's hidden. We're gonna arrow over and make it visible. So when we exit out, we will go through our screens and we'll look at our accessory test. So this gives you a snapshot of all the accessories that are available that could be hooked up to this unit. So what we want to look at is the Mega Live. Our Mega Live is connected and the beauty about this is it will actually uh, tell you what version of Mega Live it's currently running. Since this Mega Live is a brand new unit and running version 1.2, which is the latest software, we don't need to update it. But if the unit was not running version 1.2, We'd simply take our SD card. Once that we saw it was connected, we would plug this into one of the card slots in this main machine, and it would populate the Mega Live update, which we could go ahead and complete. Now, after you complete a Mega Live update, in order for that Mega Live to be active on the Helix unit, we'd want to go into menu, go into our accessories. We find it along the top tabs. We can just arrow back and forth. We'd arrow down to the Meg Alive, arrow over, and we would arrow down to the bottom where it says Restore Meg Alive Settings. And we would go ahead and restore the Meg Alive Settings back to factory default as well. So once that's completed, you can go through and you will be able to deploy your Meg Alive on the water, get your settings set, um, and you'll be ready to go. Megalive's connected, it's on both machines, so we're done.